hi everyone welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you how to cover a cake with chocolate ganache to give you a clean crisp finish now what i like to tell my students is that when working on ganache cakes you want to make sure that your cakes are frozen or at least chill it makes the process a whole lot easier okay so basically what i have done here is i have trimmed all my cake layers and i handled them frozen this makes your chocolate ganache to just be overall easier to apply on your cake while you go so guys just go ahead and watch me decorate this cake and if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comment section i would respond to them as soon as i can so guys these chocolate cake layers were created in one of my previous videos so if you've not seen that video please go check it out it's titled the best chocolate cake recipe in the world and i kid you not it lives up to the hype <laughs> So guys because of the consistency of chocolate ganache you want to pour your chocolate ganache on the top of your cake and walk your way down it's so much easier when you do that than when you have to keep scooping with your spatula or, or your palette knife as you go once you have your cream on the top of your cake like you see me do in the video you just push down until you have spread it all across your cake if your your cream is exhausted just go and reapply more on top and keep working your way down from there at this stage of this you will notice why it's very very important that your cake is chill chocolate ganache can be tricky to work with but if your cakes are chill before you start then you would have nothing to worry about <music> Once you have applied the first coating, which is the crumb coat stage, you want to pop this in the fridge again until it is firm and then apply another coating. When your cake is chill, you do not really need to use a whole lot of ganache before you achieve a clean finish. So make sure that after every additional layer of coating, you chill before you go again. Usually after two to three layers, if I want this cake to be maybe a chocolate ganache cake i would uh, be okay but if it's a fondant cake two coating works for me
at this stage you want to make sure that the top of your cake is flat very important because that flat top is going to form the base of the sharp edge you're going to eventually you know create on this cake okay after making sure the top is flat then you go ahead to create a wall as you can see me do with my bench scraper that's flat top very important guys do not skip that step then you go ahead to create a wall after creating this wall you want to chill this cake because we're going to use this wall to create the cleanest sharpest edge on our ganache cake Okay, so i'm popping this in the fridge and now it's chill so i'm going to use a very sharp craft knife to cut the excess ganache off the top the key thing to note here is you want to use the top of the cake to guide you okay while you cut you notice that i'm just shaving off the excess until i gradually reach the level of the cake so while you're cutting you want to make sure that your knife is being led by the top of your cake let the top of your cake guide you okay so basically you want to rest the knife on the top of your cake while you cut and in order to get to that stage you have to first trim off the excesses little by little you know just be patient okay one key thing about using ganache is you need to be patient and you need to be very like thorough and pay attention to detail and if you're able to do this you're going to end up getting a very sharp crisp edge from the top of your cake now after cutting this if you notice that there happen to be some maybe dents on top you can easily just take a very light layer of ganache and reapply and it would smoothen out very quickly because your cake is already chill So if you will be applying another layer of ganache to this cake then this is the point where you pop it into the fridge for a few minutes when it's chill take it out and simply reapply you realize that you would not end up using a whole lot of ganache because your cake is already chill Thank you guys for watching this video until the end i hope this was very helpful if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section and i will answer every single question as soon as i can if you're new here thank you so much for stopping by while you're here do not forget to subscribe to my channel i post a new video every week and in some weeks i post more videos thank you guys until my next video bye